So hello everyone and welcome to another day down at my allotment. Again, I'm gonna be filming on my phone as I was yesterday. Um, there seems to be some sort of issue with the camera um, and it's not recording files properly. So I thought rather than trying to film on that and losing an entire episode, I'd film what I can on this phone. So you may have seen yesterday that I was doing all the palette colors down here, which I'll have a little wander past again in a moment so you can see. My plan today is to carry on clear coating the rest of those. I'm probably not going to get them all done because I've got 40 of them to do. And what I'm going to do is dig up some of the potatoes at the front, at the sort of middle of plot 64 and extend this front bed out so I can hopefully get another row of pallet collars in. So as we come on to plot 64, pallet collars have dried out with the uh, clear coat on them now. And I think they actually look quite nice. It looks a little bit, not quite as dark as they were yesterday, which is good, but hopefully it means they're nice and well protected. So we've got the eight of them here at the moment. And my plan is today, get a few more of those painted up, as I said, and then dig down here and see if we've got any potatoes that did grow. There were potato plants across, as I'm sure you remember, sort of eight rows here. But because I wasn't here, the weeds kind of took over. So we might be lucky, we might get a few, we might not. But get any, it'll be a bonus. So you can probably tell it's turned out to be a really, really hot day. I'm absolutely sweating. I've gone through a litre and a half of water already. I've only been here about two hours, but I've been cracking on. I've been working hard and I'll show you what we've got so far. So in between sessions of digging, I've painted up another four of these pallet collars ready to go into the sort of bed behind when it's all cleared. Then I've managed to dig this over by hand it's not perfectly dug over, but it was enough to dig out an entire tray of potatoes. And at the moment, I'm part way through this side over here. It is hard work, which has reminded me why next year I'm going to be planting the, the potatoes into buckets. But in just a couple of rows, this is what I'm really impressed with. These are the pink fir apple potatoes. Um, I didn't plant very many, but they seem to be coming up everywhere and all look like they're in really decent condition as well. I've never had them, so it'll be interesting to try them. But anyway, I best get on with a bit more digging and I'll catch up with you in a bit. So I've been down here for about four hours now and I'm absolutely knackered. I was not expecting it to be this hot at all. It's taken me by surprise. Bit of a mini heat wave here, really. So I thought I'd show you what I've done so far today. And I'd do a quick little panoramic of the site so you can see how beautiful it looks in the sun. So it's definitely looking slightly different to what it was earlier. So as you can see we've added an extra row of the pallet collars and we've also moved the double pallet collar row to the back row so it's now the third rather than the second row. So in total we've got 12 beds here, we've got eight for just any random veg like onions that sort of stuff and then we've got four for root veg so our carrots, parsnips that sort of thing. You've probably noticed that all of the potatoes have now gone. So up here is where we had all the potatoes. I know it's not been perfectly cleared. I haven't rotivated it, but my plan for this section is to put some weed membrane down and cover that with wood chips so that I can rest buckets of potatoes on those because today has been absolutely knackering digging up those potatoes. It's taken me a good few hours just to dig up what was here. And actually what we did have, I was quite surprised by it. I didn't expect there to be really any there. So we've got this box here, which was from the left-hand side of the plot, which is mainly our first and second earlies, which all done really well. There's some reasonable sized ones in there, certainly enough to go in the few dinners. And then the second box here, was the right side, which had all, all of our main crop type ones. So I think these are potentially Sarpe mirrors, but I'm not really sure. They've not got that big, but I think the issue mainly was that, obviously I've not been here, so I've not been giving them a lot of water and it has been very, very dry. So they've not had the chance to swell up with watering. So anyway, that is me done. I'm knackered and I'm gonna head home. So I hope you're all doing well on your allotments. Enjoying the sunshine today and I hope you're not all at work. So take care, happy allotmenting.